Let's get one thing straight. Um, not So yeah, thanks for coming back to my coming out video. Psych, just kidding. Today we're going to be talking about playing defensive on Naruto Tevoto Shinobi Striker. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Well, look, I know how to play defense. I know how to do this. I know how to do that. What's new, Black Wave? Okay, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. We're talking about defensive, not defense. So today we're going to be playing with defense, attack, and range, and we're going to be doing some commentary over my gameplay and to show you guys what I am doing and what jutsu I'm using and basically what my thought process is doing these matches. But don't worry, I'm not going to be showing you the full match, I'm just going to be giving you some tips and tricks about how to play defensive. So for the first match, unfortunately my girlfriend got blue screen, so it's only just 3 players versus 4 players, but I'm be playing attack. This build is very cheesy though, so take as you will. I understand that it is very toxic and cheesy. I'm gonna be using Asuma Knuckle Knives, Sharingan, Obogaruma, and Baryon Mode. So my first thought of action here was basically to try. Not exactly try to win, but to try at least get somewhere with this match. Since it's a base battle, I can defend the base as well as defend my teammates. Now my teammates were kind of scattered all over the place anyway, so I'm just going to be protecting the base as much as I can to my best ability. So you're probably wondering why do you want to protect your teammates when it's a base battle as well as you're playing attack that way. That is a good question and a good thought, but this is how I just play. It's just how I am. I like to play control and I like to play DPS at the same time. And I think attacker is the best way to play like this, personally. So as you can see, at the start of the match, all of the teammates came onto the B base where I was initially. So basically, this is a quite of a sticky situation for me personally because I can only do so much. I'm kind of a more distracting type role right now. I am trying to protect my healer to the best of my ability as well even though they do have water pillar and eno heals but it is somewhat not durable in this situation because there's only four people versus three people. As the match goes on the teammates on the enemy team do dispel and it's just me versus a defense so in these situations you've got to look at what your opponent is doing. So let's look at the information we already have from the first few seconds into the match which is very crucial to understand on what you're dealing with here. So we're focusing on the defense right now. So they have a palm rotation, needle jizo, and paper bomb. The build they're using right now is basically I'm gonna stick to this base like glue. The timing is crucial against the type of player that plays. Like personally, I think a range type would be best ideal against a player like this because they can throw Senbons, they can use Amaterasu, Flame Lightning. They can basically burn damage them. Now my build on the other hand is more upfront. I can more against deal with healers or such as cast characters or something like that. But let's not forget that you do have teammates. There might be breadsticks, there might be randoms, it doesn't matter. They're still teammates and they will still have the same mindset that you do and that is to win or at least try. So try and help them as much as you can either way because they're gonna help you and you're gonna have to help them too. And that is why playing defensive is very crucial in this game. I mean even my healer is playing defensive and helping me out by using their ultimate which is solid fog jutsu. So I was debating whether to use my ultimate here or not as you can see I was kind of just running around like normal acting like hmm what do I do what do I do but I was like all right fuck it we're gonna get the other base and we're gonna come back. Baryon mode does have some time to it so even though I did lose some health I did have some kind of trust in my healer and basically it kind of worked out in my favor. So as the killer be subbed, I knew it was pretty much a good time to use my ultimate. I also suggest getting into this habit and waiting for people to sub to use your ultimate or jutsu because as we know, time space hop is a thing. And if you live under a rock, basically what time space hop does, it grants you some invincibility for a few frames and it's just fucking a menace to deal with. Speaking of which, this defense does indeed have time space hop. Oh, well, what do you know? God damn, I just got smacked into the next match. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering, did we win this match? No, we didn't. We lost. All right, so we got some range gameplay here, and I got another clip here with some more range gameplay using the same build of Amaterasu, Majestic, and Susano playing control. Now, when I play range, I don't intend to go for kills, but it ends up being a lot of kills anyway, especially on a base battle like so. Now, playing defensive whilst you're a range roll, it's a bit difficult because you're quite squishy. You have the same amount of health as a healer type, and depending on your close stats, you can be quite vulnerable in very sticky situations. Let's say a attacker has a claw combo or 
a book of rumor or some shit that I just used before, it's gonna be a nightmare for you to deal with. But lucky for me, I didn't really encounter anyone that dealt with that crap whilst I was playing range. But if you do encounter someone like that, all I can suggest is backing away. Learn some movement, which I can teach you guys maybe in a later video. But everything isn't just about movement, it's about looking at what your opponent has, it's looking at what you can do against that opponent, against what you have versus what they have. Can the stuff I have counter the stuff they have? Is my movement better than theirs? Is my knowledge of jutsu better than theirs? You can tell when someone is very knowledgeable compared to someone that's very not knowledgeable. I'm not gonna go ahead and diss anyone or trash talk anyone for their skills at all. No sir, because at the end of the day, we all started from somewhere. And to be honest, I'm a season zero player, okay? I have lost my fucking way way down. I am not a good player as much as I was before. And I'ma keep that a buck fifty with y'all. I am seeing so much good potential people because they are aware. They are aware of what they can do and take advantage of jutsu and weapons and skills and whatever they want. They can take that advantage and use it against old school players that are still stuck in the time just like me. Would I say it's a bit more harder nowadays to play this game? Oh yes, definitely. You have to learn so much more now than what you have to do in season zero. But I give a fucking huge round of applause for all these people that are taking their time to literally analyze every single jutsu about what it does, its buffs, its its debuffs, everything like that, the weapons, the skills on the clothes, everything like that. I take really good applause for you because I can't keep up, honestly, I can't. So this match was easy peasy I guess, so thank you opponent for zapping me into the next match. So this match was quite impressive because what happened was we got B base and we went straight to the enemy base and I held the enemy base the entire match. You're going to have to watch all of this gameplay that I have done because it speaks for itself basically. It's defensive and it's movement, everything is mwah, chef's kiss. <laughs>
alrighty then, so my ego check is over, so let's go on to some defense. And for once it's a combat battle, I apologize, but we were playing red and white. Anyway, I'm using Karma, Flame Formation, Cooling Breeze, and Bring Down the House. So this role, defense, is more for the term defensive. Obviously I'm going to protect my teammates. The aim is not entirely to go for kills, but to protect my teammates and maybe assist with kills. That's how I see it anyway. I see a lot of new players playing defense because defense do hold the most amount of health in the game and they are quite tanky to take on a lot of damage as well as prevent damage to themselves such as Susano armor. But to understand defense, you must become one with the defense. Now, I haven't really played games such as Overwatch or League of Legends or stuff like that. I mean, I have touched upon them, but you don't need to play these games to understand what defensive or defense is. All you need to know is that basically you can try to bring a crowd control. So what crowd control is basically creating a crowd and you control that crowd. So our crowd is the enemy team and we want to control the enemy team. Even if it's one person, two people, it doesn't really matter. As long as we want them onto us and not our DPSs and not our heal. At the start of this match, I did play kind of duty as a defense, but I did try to at least flame my teammates, even if it was one or two. I did try to put in some effort. What I like to do personally, maybe you guys do this too, is listen out for my teammates' screams when they're getting hit or something. Using sensory information as well can gather not only what you see, but what you hear as well. So yeah, I know what some people have, but not only can I see it, but I also need to hear about my teammates. Personally, I think playing defense and healer is two of the most hardest roles in this game. I don't care what anyone else says. Playing defensive whilst being a defense, it is quite easy to do. It's quite self-explanatory. Playing DPS as well as being defensive, quite harder to do. And healer, I think it's the most hardest to do. Healer does have their defensive jutsus such as True Seeker Orb and Yasaka leads, but is it enough for a healer? I don't think so. Obviously there's a few more, but it, I don't think it's enough to play as defensive as a healer as you may want to be. That's why a lot of quote-unquote DPS healers don't have the more protection as they may want to be. Again, as I said, range and healer have the same amount of health. They're squishy. They're gonna get hit on. They're gonna lose a lot of health. Though playing defense compared to a healer is completely opposite. Obviously healer have their debuffs between the enemies and defense has their debuffs against the enemies such as Toad Oil Bomb. The defense has a lot more to offer I think. Obviously with the Sakura DLC, the healer have super armor. But I think there's more super armor with the defense than a healer. And I'm comparing two classes that are on two different ball games here. So just take this information as you will. I know a lot of healers might watch this and think, how do I play defensive as a healer? It's quite difficult. I can make a video about it, but it is quite difficult. Water pillar for one, Chusiko or Yasaka beat, etc, etc. It can only help you so much and it can only do so much. You have to take into consideration of your health your movement, your jutsu, your abilities, etc, etc. It's a lot to put in and a lot to express and a lot to talk about in a video, especially here. I'm trying my best to explain about things, but you gotta think outside the box with these type of things. It can't be just about jutsu, it can't be just about movement, it's about you as an individual as well. As much as I can provide videos as well as other YouTubers, it's up to you as an individual. I mean, you can't exactly entirely mimic someone or their movement or etc etc they can provide the the inputs but they can't provide the exact mimicry so it's entirely up to you you can have some opinion about things of course you might think some jutsu is bad or some jutsu is good it's up to you and everyone is entitled to their own opinion you might disagree with me in this entire video that's completely fine i'm not gonna disagree with you Honestly, you you can have your own say, I have my own say too. This is just how I play. And if you want some tips or some tricks, this is just my opinion. I'm not the most best players, as I said before. I'm not the worst players in the game. I'm just trying to keep it up to date with what people can expect from this game, let's say. 
you're going to encounter a lot of new things and there's still going to be new things added into this game as time goes on as well. Sadly, I can't provide the utmost significant information such as data because I can't see the data. I can only see textures and I can only see models. If you're wondering how come I know about the health ranges between range, healer, attack and defense, is because this was introduced in the beta. They had the exact health number in the corner besides your health bar and it showed that the range and the healer had the same amount of health and then there was attacker and then there was defense. Defense initially had 1k health but they nerfed this to 800. There's a fun fact for you. <laughs> so I guess that's it for now. I do appreciate you guys coming by and leaving me a review. Please consider liking and subscribing. I do upload every week. I do apologize that it is Monday today and I was supposed to upload yesterday but you know things happen and I have been unwell but yeah thank you guys so much I really do appreciate it and yeah have a nice day